Hello, welcome to the 5-Minute University on Instructional Alignment. This presentation is brought to you by Adam Persky from the University of North Carolina Eshelman School of Pharmacy. Instructional alignment means that there is alignment between your learning objectives, the assessments that measure whether students accomplish those objectives, and the instructional approaches used to help students achieve those goals. Although simple and intuitive, this alignment may not be made as intentional as it should be, resulting in misalignment, which can be common. Instructional alignment is the foundation of good instruction. Research has shown that having outcomes, assessments, and learning activities aligned can improve student learning by one or two standard deviations. This makes instructional alignment one of the most effective instructional strategies we have. So, how do we align our instruction? The how of instructional alignment starts with objectives. Objectives can vary from content to skills to attitudes and behaviors. In any case, two common formats exist for writing objectives. The first common format is SMART objectives, or specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. The alternative is the ABCD format, which is audience, or your learners, behavior, what you expect from them, condition, under what context will the learning occur, and degree, or what level of mastery. Then there is assessment. This can vary from paper and pen assessments like multiple choice, short answer, essay, or to observations of behaviors, presentations, etc. Finally is the instructional approach. This can vary from self-directed learning or lecture if the goal is more around knowledge and comprehension, to discussion, cooperative learning, and other active learning strategies for higher orders of Bloom's taxonomy to develop skills or behaviors. So let's talk about some examples. Let's say you want students to be able to analyze information. This is a higher order learning in Bloom's taxonomy. So your objectives would use verbs like analyze, characterize, compare or contrast, or differentiate. Your assessments can be pen and paper, such as multiple choice questions, essays, or you can use presentations or papers. Next, you need to focus on how you will help the students learn to analyze. This can be done by modeling how you yourself analyze data, analyze an article or patient case, and then having students practice analyzing. When learning to analyze a problem, it's best for students to see a sample problem and how it's analyzed. Maybe your objective is not cognitive, but behavioral, like to improve team skills. Your objectives state that you want to develop team skills in students. You may assess them through direct observation of these behaviors, maybe using a rubric or peer evaluations from the team members. Finally, you need to give students opportunities to work in teams. This can be accomplished in cooperative learning strategies such as the jigsaw method, send a problem, or course formats such as team-based learning or problem-based learning. Here's a practical tip. Use Excel to map your course. The far left column would be the learning objective. The second column would be the assessment question, and the third column would be what class session or activity supports that learning objective. You can go one step further and add sections such as what students need to do pre-class to prepare for in-class activities, and what they may do after class to further support their learning. Regardless of the desired outcome, whether it's content, critical thinking, professionalism, etc., you need to be able to assess them and you need instructional strategies to have students develop these skills. Again, instructional alignment is the key foundational practice that can have a very strong impact on student learning. This concludes our time for the 5-Minute University. After completing the short survey on the next page, you can access the full handout of great resources to get you started with instructional alignment in your classroom.